programs. Well, now the battle beginning. This is Kotev uh, of Bulgaria. It's his first lift at 222.5 kilograms. And remember, we've still got uh, Ronnie Weller of East Germany and Yuri Zakharevich of the Soviet Union still to come in. Oh, that was a competent piece of cleaning. Now, can he do the rest? The answer is yes. That was good technically. His arms moved very, very quickly indeed. And we've got Andrew Davis of Great Britain to follow with his third lift and uh, he's chosen the same weight, 222.5 kilograms. And his uh, previous uh, lift at this same weight wasn't too convincing. He is in new territory really. So his final attempt in this uh, second discipline, clean and jerk. Look at him measuring the distance of the grip from those uh, reference points on the bar. Everything has to be perfect. 222.5 kilograms. Well, the first phase, get up, he says. Now, can he get those uh, legs to get the bar moving, get those arms straight underneath? That was a better attempt, I have to say that. It goes down as a fail. 210 kilograms is best. Uh, he struggled to get that bar up to his chest as you saw and uh, must have been wondering whether he was uh, capable at this stage and if you don't believe then you're in trouble and he was. Well the East German Ronnie Weller has uh, had one failure at his uh, opening weight 230 kilograms this is his second lift and I wonder it's a tactical decision to come in at uh, this late stage but this is his second lift and he desperately needs this remember he won the snatch with 202.5 kilograms now he needs to clean this and he needs to put this away or he's going to be in some danger he should be capable Explosion. Well, he's got to the first uh, stage. Now. Oh, no! Well, he's had two failures. Still no weight on the board. And this is a critical situation for him. He looked to be limping a little bit, incidentally, as he went off that uh, platform. He got the first phase okay. Good deep squat movement. A lot of preparation psychologically for that lift. And then he got the arms straight, but he couldn't get the body underneath the bar. Well, there was never a more critical situation than now for Ronnie Weller of East Germany because uh, his medal status very much on the line. If he fails this, and incidentally it's at 232.5 kilograms, it's his third and final lift, and he still doesn't have a lift on the board. It'll be a personal disaster for him if he fails here and he struggled at 230 kilograms. He's now moved to 232.5, hoping that he can salvage just something and put the pressure on Zakarevich and Botev, of course. Final lift, the Olympic bronze medalist from Seoul last year in terrible trouble unless he succeeds here. Well, the first half of the job is done. Now, can he? He's nearly... Oh, he's lost it! Well, he's going to be satisfied perhaps with one gold medal in the snatch but he's not going to win the gold in the overall that's gone the medal in the clean and jerk has gone too
Now Yuri Zakarevich. The pressure on him now. His first lift this and he's chosen 235 kilograms. He's seen what happened there to Ronnie Weller, the young East German, who beat him in the first of the disciplines, the snatch. First lift now. If he could succeed here, he would certainly be in with a very good chance of the overall gold medal. He's already got a silver medal in the snatch. What can he do? Now. Well, he's up, it's up there now. Is it still? Oh, well, was it up there long enough? Was it steady enough? And he looks up to see the lights. And he's only got one white light and two reds, so it's a fail. One of the judges gave it to him, two didn't. And that means that he too has a problem. But Botev, uh, in good shape at the moment, he has 222.5 kilograms on the board. And now his second lift at 235 kilograms, the weight that Zakarevich failed. Now, can he really upset? Oh, it looks good. And it is good. 235 for Stefan Botev of Bulgaria. Marvellous performance there. Well, Botev out of the medals in the snatch, but uh, my goodness, he's going to take some beating in the clean and jerk. And can uh, Zakarevich of the Soviet Union do it? Now, it's still 235 kilograms. The world record holder is in trouble. Second lift. Still no uh, score on the board. Concentration. The same pattern of preparation each time. Oh, straight into that uh, clean phase. Now, he needs this badly. Oh, he's not going to have it, is he? Is he? Is his left arm won't straighten, his left arm won't lock out. And he looks to the judges with despair. Oh, he's got one white light again and two red, exactly the same as on his first lift. He too now is in desperate trouble. I must say that uh, he didn't look too happy about that. He's had two situations where it looked as though he may well have locked out. It's his left arm that's the problem. Look at it. He's not as straight as the right, and that's what the two judges have gone on. <laughs> well, as we go to Stefan Botev of Bulgaria, the news is that Yuri Zakarevich of the Soviet Union has not come out to take his third lift. And so he too, like Weller of East Germany, uh, fails to score in the second discipline in this 110 kilogram category. This weight, 242.5 kilograms, is his third and final lift. First phase good. Oh yes! Now can he get his feet together? Yes is the answer. Brilliant, brilliant lift by Stefan Botev. The Bulgarians in this crowd thoroughly enjoying that. So Botev wins the clean and jerk from Dabrowski of Poland and Davis of Great Britain. The Bulgarian crowd enjoying that. And the overall situation is a win for Stefan Botev with 427.5 overall total from Davis of Great Britain and Dabrowski of Poland. I'm just uh, reflecting as uh, we see Botev get his gold medal. What might have been Ronnie Weller of East Germany and Yuri Zakarevich of the Soviet Union, neither of those lifters scored in the second discipline. One category to go.